folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Yale Bulldogs and the Kansas Jayhawks. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it would be a total m and a total mismatch. The Jayhawks should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First of all, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Dumps it in and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off. Defense giving some room. Puts up the shot. Buried it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Takes the pass. High post screen. So effective that screen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Spander is eager and excited to compete. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Got a man in high post. From the baseline. Got it. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They work the perimeter. He looks at the hoop. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He strips him clean. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Watch out. The five-second count is getting close, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the arc. Turns it over. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be torn, and this kid has responded in a positive way. <laughs> 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 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He attempts the trifecta. It's good. Trying to feed inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. They look to get it to the inside. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. post flashes. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. This is just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Steals a pass. The point guard takes the feed. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. The layup's good, and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. He'll shoot one. He got it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to go inside. There's the trap. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Stolen away. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the post up high. The center with the ball for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That's been moved, not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. That's good. The power forward gets the ball. Here they come with a double team to stop it. The small forward gets the pass. A little frustration right there. Working it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. it on the floor and up and under in and out and offensive rebound great offensive rebound really is great step to the basket nobody put a blotty on him there's a double team waiting there goes up for two Great shot. Hopkins. 
Fake. Hatcher fakes the shot. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. With anticipation defensively. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. And he'll kick it back outside. And now they'll bring it up. He fires from long range. Way off target. For the bucket. Sinks it. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Hey, did you see what the mascot was doing after the last dunk? Was he excited or what? He was jumping all over the place. There he is, strips the ball loose. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle. He gets that one to fall. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Shots there if he wants it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Controlling the ball. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. You don't see plays like this every day. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Looking for a good shot. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. It's crazy in here, Brad. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. And they get the turnover. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Off the rim and no good. Oh, oh. 
pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Jumps into the defender. Contact causes the shot to come off. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Stolen ball. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. On the inside. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. And he'll kick it back outside. As the fans continue to chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen away. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. on the guy in the post to go the other way. Outside jumper. <laughs> Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. Didn't like what he saw in the post, and reverses the ball. He shoots from the low post. Makes it. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. Ten seconds to put it up. They get it out into transition. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. 
For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Strips the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. On the outside, Adam in the low block, but opted against it. From right in the circle, gets it to fall. We'll get a better look on the replay. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Two for one opportunity. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Can't get it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Jam City, baby, that's a rib rocker. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Pressure that basketball. At the half, the Bulldogs are trailing by 14. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Kansas showed great presence on the boards in the first half. And you know what really impressed me, Brad? They did it with textbook box out form. They sealed off. We see so many kids that don't box out. Not this team. 
This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. Takes the pass in the paint. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part, because it resulted in a foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. There's the pick. There's the roll. Looking to move it around the perimeter. We'll take the shot off the rim and no good. He hammers it home. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two, perfectly executed. lost a basketball for the bucket great play to take that to the basket the Jayhawks are up by 18 gave it up he shoots from long range drains the shot harm and foul Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He shoots from left of the circle. Downey makes a trade. There's the trap. Stolen. Any time now, boys? The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. He takes a three. Off the mark.
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Goes up for two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Stolen on the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Now they work it around the perimeter. From right in the circle, way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Strip red. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Look at that spacing. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. And the ball goes out of play. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. High post player flashing. Hopkins handles the pass. Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He shoots from the top of the key. Tries for two. Buried it. Look at this effort! Pressure, great double team, really explosive. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the outside, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat him. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He's got a high post flasher. Spander makes a great. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. <laughs> he goes to the line for the first time. He sinks it. Pick 
picked off. Gave it up in the paint. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Goes for the deep one. The shot won't fall. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. There's the fake. With the fake. Executes the baby hook. In and out. They work the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. He puts it in with contact and all. He goes for three. He drains the shot. Problem with that, when you front it, you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see wall man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. And they come with a double team to stop it. For two, scorches the net. The Jayhawks have a basketball program that has a lot of history. Hey, when the score has a great history, Brad, it almost brings instant credibility to the table. Players want to play there. Coaches want to coach there. A bit of a snowball effect. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Picks off the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Leans in. There was no doubt about that one. Steals a pass. Pushes it. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's electrifying in here. Takes away the pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. He shoots from outside. He shows the sweet touch. That's worth another look. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. 
on the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Puts it up, looking for contact. Easy one. They move it into the front court. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Here they come now on a turnover. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to deal with ease, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Got an open look if he wants it. Off the rim and no good. Basket and the harm for the senior. He's got a big time heart, baby. With the free one. Routine. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Count that as a personal foul. He dragged the defender into the stream, but can't drop the bucket. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He goes to the free throw line. He gets it to go. On both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He dials long distance. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the circle. Knocks down the three. To look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Gets it to fall. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For 
two and in and out. Gave it up on the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Foul charge. The senior leader puts it in, plus one. He made a big basket right there at the right time, Brad. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He goes to the line for the first time. Count it. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. It's stolen. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Yale are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Picked out of the air. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. A little bit of one-man backcourt pressure. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Up and inside. They work the perimeter. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Ten-point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. The shot from the baseline. He hits it. Transition opportunity coming up. Dump it inside. He's got an open look for the shot. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they change things up a little bit, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Off the rim and no good. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He steps up to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. For 
with a deuce. They got a foul quickly here. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He tries the three ball. He gets it to fall. Shot clock is dead. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, know when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Gets the first shot. that opportunity either. Looking for a good shot. The small forward takes the pass. He drains the shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble down the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Gets the first. Sinks both of them. This important possession if they want a chance to win. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that. Dick. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. He goes for the trifecta. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Buchanan receives the ball. Dick, we expected them to win. They did win. They've been impressive all year long, and they just keep rolling along. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Kansas played well against a good team tonight for the win. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.